Now at five, a triple shooting outside the Lauder Hill Mall. Two people killed. I ran. Um, I was afraid that I might get shot by a stray bullet. Surveillance video capturing the chaos. As you can imagine how chaotic this scene could have been. Tonight, the latest on the search for the shooter. It was a chaotic scene last night as people ran for their lives amid the sound of gunfire. CBS 4's Ted Scouten live in Lauder Hill with the latest. Ted. Yeah, Rick and Rudabay, it was in this part of the parking lot where the gunfire erupted late last night. When you look back there, you can see all the way up there on the second floor, uh, those marks on the windows. Those are bullet holes. The gunfire, when it stopped, it left two people dead and a third injured. A chaotic scene as people run for their lives as bullets fly outside the Lauder Hill Mall late Sunday night. The next thing I heard gunshots, you know, so the first thing that hit my mind was, you know, me running, just run, because I didn't want to get hit by, by a bullet. I basically took cover. Reginald Youngblood was here when the shots rang out. He was looking for his cousin when he walked up on a heated argument. I started seeing people, you know, we start moving around and people started cursing and, and then the fight broke loose. In a matter of seconds, bullets were flying. Police say they found shells from different caliber guns. That tells detectives multiple people were firing. Two men died. Police found one of them in front of the auto zone. Another was several stores down when he collapsed. They're identified as 33-year-old Omari Stevens and 33-year-old Lawrence Hill. A third person was shot in the leg and drove himself to the hospital. As you can imagine how chaotic this scene could have been, you had several hundred cars, several hundred vehicles. There was some sort of altercation that occurred in the beginning, which resulted in this, this gunfire. The trouble broke out about 10 o'clock in the evening. That's when hundreds of people ended up here at the mall after a nearby car show broke up. Police do not know what led to the violence. We do know a lot of bullets flew. Evidence markers were all over the parking lot. Two of the bullets hit the impact glass of a gym. Luckily, no one else was hit. And so far, no one has been arrested. Investigators need your help trying to find the people responsible. If you have information that can help, give Broward Crime Stoppers a call. That number is 954-493-TIPS. Live in Lauderhill, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.